October 4th, 2020. How's it going, guys? We're going to do a quick walk in the park. It's about 12.39 today. going to talk about today guys coming up a little bit closer we've been busy this weekend out and about all over the place my son had to get a new tv so we were tv hunting this weekend Costco had a pretty good one there too. LG 43 inch Ultra HD 4K. Yeah. What's that on um, the speed of refresh or what is it? 11? What is it? Oh, the input lag about yeah. around 11 second milliseconds. It's pretty good. I think you'll get much better for TV. So that's what we've been doing this weekend. Yeah, you look at them all side by side, and you can clearly tell the difference in the in the LG there, at the store. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, big difference. There's difference in the models too, because we went to Walmart. Their kid looked at them, and you can tell the difference in the brightness between the smaller version, and the bigger version, and uh, there's a, I think I think it there's a difference in the dates when they were manufactured myself. I think it was. 2020 model, I think. Yeah. Doesn't it have a quad core in it? Well, it yeah, quad, quad core. Quad core. Yeah. We're looking at a Viso, but that thing looks so dull and dark. Right. And it had what eight? It was an Octa, but yeah, it was an wasn't Octa, but nearly as bright, and the colors weren't as good on it. That was the only thing. The brightness of that thing was not there. We looked at a review too on YouTube. Somebody had done, and they had some issues. They looked at a few issues about getting it to go into. I think kind of like it kind of had like a gaming like mode for that. But he said there was some blur. He never could really show it that good. So I don't know. I think the best thing you do, you got to get out there and you got to look at these TVs and see which ones look the best. Have to do a review on the last one we got yeah you'll have to do it when you get it all hooked up and get it all put up and you have to do a review on it and we'll post it that's a good idea so now we're looking for a stand we haven't found a stand yet we'll find a stand for something that's comparable in size it's about 40 about 41 and a half inches what the length of it is so usually you need about something about it. it's going to stick out about 18 or 20 inches out from the wall what you need usually so no turtle out today he's not in on his no. wall out there not today no Went to Swap and Shop this morning again. Went to 63rd this morning. A lot less people out. Very 
been calm the last kind of a low there pause the last couple of days I think this deal about Trump and him being tested positive has caused some of that there's different different the way the people are out there right now in this space interesting now have to stick your head out and look around on all of it see what's going on Feels good, doesn't it? Yep. Right along, done. So we figured out half the problem on the game there. We were talking about gaming a couple of days back. One of the settings was way off. The render resolution? Yeah. It's supposed to be set to 100. Yeah, and it was set at 250. Oh my God. Probably about six, uh, 66 on the resolution. Oh, 66. What, what other? What, the what, frames what, per second. Frames were The six. max frames yeah, per second. Yeah, that's what, yeah, but we had to change that on there. That's the way the computer came, though, from the laptop. Yeah. So, yeah. Because didn't I mean, the render resolution make you turn slower or something? Oh, my God. It's like so increasing it like speed by 100% on Turning almost. it up to 100. I mean, it, the speed was definitely a lot quicker. It's like going from the O2 TV to more it kind of... Big difference. But then we still got another set issue too I'm still looking at. There's still a, when you go to a fire on it, we're having some problems when you shoot. There's in the gulag and the shooting. And actually, I got like eight or 10 rounds off this guy. And I got shot in the end, but the thing of it is when it showed the replay, the bullets were only going halfway and they were falling to the floor. The bullet, my bullets were, I, <laughs> I, I was just sitting there, the guy's gonna look to be a person, he's like, he did it already, but it didn't even get him. Now I looked online, supposedly there's a lot of things that's been posted about this on some of the stuff here. So I don't know. And some of them say, you know, it has to do with the flaw in the game itself, some on the lag, I don't know. But I think it's got to do with something else on one of the settings. So we're going to go back in and we're going to look at a little bit more 
I know it improved the speed what we did on the other, but it don't do no good on the speed. The only thing I've ever if you're if, when you're shooting if your if your bullets can't hit. The only thing I've had happen like that was uh, when the connection's been really bad before. I've actually had it to where I'll take a few steps forward and it'll throw me back like ten steps. Dude. Like it's not keeping the connection. I've had that happen. See what I did too. I wanted to see what it would do. Like I was shooting this one wall uh -huh. and it was actually making it in this in this, in this one area i was actually hitting the wall yeah the accuracy was pretty good nothing pulling to the left or right but it was pulling up by about a half an inch so that's pretty good and that was not with a scope on it that was just a regular sight so that wasn't too bad that was just one off the ground right right that was not too bad at all uh -huh. so i'm thinking more away from one so I don't know what I was gonna say. We was in the one in the hospital one, and I know some of the objects you can't actually hit. We're trying to test it out. Shoot at the soda pop machine. He doesn't do nothing to the soda pop machine, so I don't know. And that, so by shooting at this cardboard It's got box. a force field around it, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But the cardboard box that I was shooting at, it knocked the cardboard box off. But uh, I shot the box four times and only put a hole in the box once. So, that's kind of weird. I mean, I shot it four times, it knocked the box four times, but it only put a hole in it once. So, I mean, is that a way the game is? I don't know. I mean, how they made it, but... But what I thought was interesting, after we increased the speed, I could move around a lot better because it was like I was at about 10% power and increased it to 100% in speed wise. So it's working great on that. But when you're shooting on a thing, then it's like your bullet's getting halfway out there, like 10 feet out and dropping to the ground. <laughs> now that's funny. Wow. We'll figure it out. We'll get it figured out. <laughs> but a lot of fun. That's what it's supposed to be about, fun. So. Interesting stuff. We got some more videos coming here. Down the line, you guys do. A lot of stuff going on out there. But the LG, that's a good price for about 280 bucks on that TV. Yes. That was pretty good. I think uh, that's the cheapest you can get because at Walmart they're out of stock and they're going for about 320. Yeah, so that's, that's not a bad price actually. And then anywhere online like on eBay and Amazon they were pretty high too. Especially that brand. It was hard to find that exact model online. Yeah, I see like that Viso and LG, they've been around forever. I mean, like when Las Vegas, when they, the, 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 the thin TVs come out like that, they were the first ones that really put them out there and had the big ones out there in Vegas out there and stuff. Everywhere you went, on their walls, advertising their buffets and all the other stuff and everything. Yeah. Is that Viso? Viso and then, then the LG. There was some, I think a few Sony, but there wasn't very many out there like that. I'm sure the cheaper they got, could get them for, the better off. Well, the Viso, I think, would come out of California, what I understand. I understand now that they've been bought out by China. Yeah, they've sold out. Another another deal, huh? But that was actually from out there in California. And LG is made yeah. in South Korea. Yeah, LG is made in South Korea, that's correct. So interesting see anytime we have some good products or something somebody always comes in either buys the companies up or something <laughs> else they shouldn't allow them to do all that stuff all the time it's not good 
can't remember which place it was at, but uh, you know the self checkouts I've got. One of the places had Toshiba self checkouts. Hmm. Where was that at? You don't. I don't remember? know if it was. Um, might have been Price Shopper, maybe. It could be. We go to a lot of different places. They've Wait out TV wise, I mean some of those other ones they said they had some bad products. I mean between what is it? Is it TLC and uh, RCA and the rest of them? Mm -hmm. I mean RCA had some problems with them just going blank short now. I remember a few, few years back when I looked at some of that stuff too. And what's that other one with the something like Hein, what is it? Heisen's or something Heisen, and yeah, Westinghouse. Okay. I mean, they're kind of the bottom, I think, of the barrel grade. Some of the places like Kmart and Sears used to carry some of them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't go wrong on, like, uh, you know, like I say, the LG, to me, quality and the brightness is very good. You could just tell by what it showed the shadows and everything else on it. I mean, it looked really realistic. So we'll see how it does. I mean, there's other brands out there. Oh, he said, well, I want to bought anything from camera wise to anything else like that. It's Sony, mm -hmm. Canon, Sony, and anything like that was always pretty good. Samsung, Samsung, eh, not too bad. Your A20. <laughs> I got I got equipment for Sony. I mean, Sony makes their stuff to last. I mean, more ways than one. I don't want it. I mean, that's just like that security cam even. That was made by, that's a Sony security cam. That thing's been going for 25 years, no problem. They built their stuff tough. I got that one, that one camcorder. It's got night vision, it still works. It's got like a 500 and, 540 or 560 zoom on that thing. Man, that thing's still working. And I mean, it, I mean, hey. But that's what you need. You need good products that last for a good, responsible price. See, that's the problem with United States products too. They gouge the people. They try to, you know, you know. It's it's the problem with it is here, with the products here. We can make a good product. We can make good products, but then they want to charge two or three times that, which to me is crazy. You have to put out a good product at a reasonable price. It's okay to make a pro profit on it, but you sure don't want to gouge somebody on something on all of it. Here you go again. I mean, like, I buy a lot of my stuff from the West Coast, East Coast. Kansas City here, I mean, it just is not competitive on stuff on some things. They want sometimes three times as high. I mean, something, say, for, say, uh, something that was $100, some of the stuff they want $300 for here. Well, that's crazy. I can get it for a hundred dollars out there in California or New York. I mean, that's insane on all of it. So, I mean, you have to, you have to be. Uh, what am I looking to say? Thrifty. Nothing wrong with being thrifty. That's the thing about all of it there. It's just like, you know, you take like plumbers, for example, like putting in hot water tank. I mean, look what they get charged for labor and putting those in today. It's a joke. I mean, they can slide those things in there. Bam. You can put one in. Well, I mean, if you've been doing it a lot, you can put them in there about an hour. What takes more is cutting the other one out, draining the tank. I mean, it's not really about putting the tank in there that much. Shoot, I used to put hot water tanks in for $50 a place. So that tells you something right there. Did the, did, did the time change? Did anything? Not really. 
but shoot, they get what? Six hundred. Close to some of them probably even close to a thousand dollars, but a hot 40 gallon hot water tank in or better. That's crazy. I mean, you know, there should be price caps on stuff on certain things. I mean, they do on medical. Somebody gets hurt and it's like, you can only get, you know, you can only sue for so much and that's it. I mean, come on. Just like these cars and vehicles. There ain't none of these cars worth $100,000 out there. Ain't none of these cars worth $50,000 out there, really. Back in the 80s, all this computerized electronic stuff that come out was supposed to make things cheaper. Well, you know that the computers and the, and the stuff, the chips are cheaper. And you know the way they make them. But who put all that money in their pocket? That money went somewhere. I mean, the cars used to run, you know, 6000 10000 12 I can even see up to $20,000 on a car. But come on, who? I mean, you've got to be nuts to put out any more money than that. And that's insane. I mean, uh, that's unreal just not there I mean all the robotics was supposed to they, you see they said oh the robotics will make everything cheaper and they just and people just kept buying the cars they kept buying the cars and now it's thirty thousand dollars now it's fifty thousand dollars now we've got an escalate for a hundred thousand dollars how long do they last eh. yeah right oh and that's another thing too about not you know, they, they come to this idea like you just throw things away, you don't repair things, you just run things for so long, you just toss them. I mean, what is that? What a waste. I mean, there's a lot of good things out there that are a lot better built, a lot of older things than the, than the new. I mean, that's the thing about all of it. Like the refrigerators, maybe? Uh, oh god, don't even go I'm talking about refrigerators a refrigerator. A lot of the old ones are better, they last longer. Oh well yeah, they were built better. They had different freon in them too, but that's not the half of it. I mean they made these refrigerators so cheap today. I mean they work on the principle that the all the cold air has got to come from the freezer down to cool the bottom part of the refrigerator. That's why a lot of these a lot of these things go wrong and people's food aren't kept at a correct temperature is good. But anyway, we'll get into that later. Anyway, guys, have a good one.